Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Maester Alix, and this is Fallout 4 Adam Cat. Oh, yeah! We are right back where we left off here in the Core Vega plant, and uh, we got things cleared out, so we gotta tell the folks over at Oberland that uh, these particular raiders ain't gonna give them any trouble anymore. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's see. Anything fun or interesting in this room? No? All right then, let's go. Got some pipes. Oh, all right. Yeah, we uh, we cleared this area out pretty well, I'd like to think. Oh, oh, what's up here? Oh, a little hidden room, eh? More bullets. Good stuff. All right. Well, let's just hop on over to Oberlin Station, shall we? There it is. All right. I love giving people good news. Hey. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. And thank you. Man, it's so nice doing all the good work. Helping people out and making the Commonwealth a better place. Yeah. I can definitely see helping out these Minutemen guys. Anyway, let's go tell Preston the good news. Alright. Back at Sanctuary. I think things are only going to get better from here on out. Got to find this Preston fella. Good thing the people at uh, Robco really know their stuff. Dope boy zeroed right in on him. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I don't know the first thing about the Minutemen. That doesn't matter. The Minutemen of the last few years are gone, and nobody's gonna miss them. We don't need any more petty politics, or squabbling over resources, or arguing over who has seniority. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Mr. Garvey is quite right, sir. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, sir. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is... There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. 
Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Man, Preston, that is a tall order to put in. But yeah, I'm up to I'm up for it. But uh, first things first, I'm gonna need some supplies. And since you people are, uh, looks like you got plenty of supplies to go around for the moment. And uh, yeah, we'll just do a little hop, skip, and a jump over to. Uh, the little uh, red rocket that's over there. You know, make our own secondary Adam Cat's garage. That'll be real cool. Real, real cool. I do not understand what the temperature has to do with the topic of conversation. Operator A C. Oh, echo, echo. Ah, cool ain't about temperature. Cool's about style. It's a lifestyle. It's an attitude. It's everything that you do, and either you are cool, or you aren't. I still do not understand. Look, Echo, just stick with me and you will learn the rule of cool on the school of the road. The school of hard knocks. You keep saying cool, but I do not think it means what you believe it to mean. Your definitions are non-specific and unclear. Oh, echo, echo, echo. Just, just stick with me, kid, and you'll learn. Trust me, you'll learn. Besides, I think we got a good crew starting to grow here. I mean, they ain't much for talking, but they are, you know, much for action. And, uh... Action is what we need. Affirmative. Yeah. See these guys? They ain't cool. They never had it, and they never will. They never will, because they are deceased. Yeah, yeah, that's the obvious answer, but... Uh, man. Echo, I will teach you cool. I promise this. But we gotta, you know, first worry about our plates, man. It ain't, it ain't right being seen without your plates in sparkling order. Gotta put a shine on them. You should worry about a loss of protective value rather than aesthetic value. No, see, see, it's not just the protective value, it's a protection of your body and you're cool. Look, look, we'll talk more about this later, alright? Well, that's one way to end a conversation. There we go. Yo, Codsworth, come here for a second. Hey. Sir, what's mine is yours, sir. There you go. Now you got a proper hat, and that's cool. There we go. All fixed up. Yeah. You know, Sentinel Man, that's We gotta go we gotta get a cool set on your of your plates going too, man. I mean this whole outcast thing, that's a good start. But uh I think we could do better. I think we could do better. Alright, Sentinel, let's see what you got. Oh, almost got it. Missing a leg. Yo, yo, I know you're excited, but back it up. Back it up. 
Guys, 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 you're cramping my style. You need some space. Come on, buddy, come on. There you go. A fine decision, sir. Excellent. Marvelous, marvelous. Alright. Alright, so if we're gonna stay here, we're gonna need some equipment set up. Get some gear and maybe a robot. Help clean this place up. So what do we got? Let's set up a robot stand here. Let's see. All right, yeah. This has a protectron. Gotta find a cozy corner to sneak him in. Yeah, right. Right there, yeah. Is it gonna mark one or mark two? Well, not quite ready for a mark two. Alright, Mr. Law. Alon, citizen. Thank you. How about this Mr. Tidy? You gonna start working, buddy? Yeah. Good, good. Glad to hear you guys are all working together here. I think it'll be a grand, grand, grand time. Ooh. Have you call. Letting go? No, not at all. So, uh, maybe I should let go of something. Ah, uh, yeah, Nuka Cola. Good stuff. All right, we got. Police bot on patrol. Yeah. All right. Well, one thing I need to set up. Let's see. It's power around here. I mean, there's still clearly some power being generated somewhere. I just don't know where. But uh, yeah. Maybe move some of these workbenches around. But first, yeah, I really want to get some uh some of these manufacturing things set up would be really handy to uh, get some of these things you know, made up let's see robot assembler <laughs> Weapon disassembler. Oh man, I am so not prepared for that. Okay, well. I'll get there eventually. Get there eventually. But first, yeah. Get all this stuff set up. Protect and serve. Yeah, Mr. Law, you know it. Alright, well, let's see. Can I do any cooking? Sure can. That's a nice bit. All right. See if I can touch up my weapons any. Well done. All right. Now just put the extra guns in a place they'll be safe. Let's see. Yeah. Probably something that can lock. There we go, nice floor safe. Spare guns I'm not gonna carry around there. Alright. Now with that set aside, not really a problem. Let's go uh put something on display. Yeah.
That'll do. All right. Put the big guy on there. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Lock those guns up so no one else can get them. And, uh, yeah. That seems like a good, good thing. Now let's just take a rest till morning. All right. I need to build bed. Nice one. And that'll do. Oh, morning. Oh, nice stretch out. Ugh, okay, well. New day. And new opportunities, I guess. Since we're heading that way, why don't we not worry about that, but we'll talk to Sturgis instead. Cool. Real cool. Just gotta get over to Sanctuary Hills. Alright. Discover something interesting. Well, thank you, Pip-Boy. That's incredibly helpful or not really yeah let's go see the interesting before we talk to Sturgis not that Sturgis isn't interesting but he's Sturgis he's a person he's unique he's unique and interesting by being Sturgis but uh, something interesting that could be anything Ooh. past here all right Oh, it's another one of these robots. Alright, well, let's go uh, check it out. Mr. Salvage, after carefully examining the components acquired from the robot wreckage, you happily conclude that they are used to create a very special variation of the standard Mr. Handy Maintenance Bot, Mr. Salvage. The components can be replicated and assembled into a brand new Mr. Salvage using the Settlement Workshop. Various types of outdoor clutter will be removed by the Salvage Bot as it travels around the settlement. The salvage material is deposited in the workshop. Only one single Mr. Salvage is allowed per settlement and should be positioned on the ground in the central area of the settlement. To have begin salvaging, first activate its station pad and click Begin Salvaging. Then wait for Mr. Salvage to complete its initial scan, a minute or two, before you leave that settlement. A beep will sound when the scan completes. Waiting for the beep ensures that Mr. Salvage can continue salvaging items while you are elsewhere. Mr. Salvage station pads are constructed using the workshop with structures miscellaneous. There are additional items that can be optionally salvaged. To make this selection, activate Salvage Bot's station pad and then click Select Salvage Options. A scrollable list is then presented. Click on an option to toggle its setting. Selected options apply only to the specific Salvage Bot. The list of options is scrollable. An option is currently enabled if it is shown without brackets and is currently disabled if it is enclosed within brackets. For example, Rusty, ve vin rusty Vehicles indicates that it is enabled. Not Rusty Vehicles indicates that Rusty Vehicles is disabled and will not be salvaged until clicked to be enabled. Select desired options before clicking the Begin Salvage button, otherwise the options will not apply until the next salvaging cycle. Oh man, another robot? Robots are just so cool, man. I mean, they much for talking- oh, oh hey dog meat, how are you doing? They're not uh, great for conversation all the time, but man, they are handy. I can see why they're called Mr. Handies. Oh, wait. Oh, what's over here? Oh, let's check this out. Oh. Someone tried to prepare. Well, don't mind if I do. Ooh, a gold bar, man. So many uh, useful things.
thing. So much food and some booze. Ooh. Pre war money. Aluminum cans. All good stuff. Oh, even a shovel. Let's uh, take a look at this here. Is it safe? Yeah. Lock's really strong. That's it. Awesome. Alright. Let's go head back out then. Oh. Weather's turning. Made a turn for the worst. Alright, well, we'll go find Sturgis and uh, head inside for a bit. Get protected from all this rad storm. Hey, there he is. Alright, well, let's go head in before we talk to him. Work. Here's an excellent time for me to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying the series. If you do, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and uh, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help everything out. Also, please remember to check out Mrs. E's Twitch, uh, yeah, Twitch streams. I have a link down below, and it's at the start of every video. Also, uh, if you haven't already, please check out the links in the description down below. There's a lot of really great stuff. I got my uh, Twitter feed, so you can get updates on uh, some of the cool stuff and stuff that's going on in my life. Uh, you can get uh, updates through that. Or you can also my Discord server, where you can get your own personal hello, hello from me upon entry, and you can chat anytime I can. And of course, there's the uh, Teespring store, where you can get all your Maester Alix merch you could ever want or need. And failing that, there's also my uh, Patreon campaign, where you can get yourself a slew of magnificent rewards, including early access to all these videos and everything else on my channel, Patreon exclusive videos, and so much more. So please check that out. And with that being said, thank you all for joining me, and I shall see you all next time.